All right, Shalom. Juan. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Chakudash. Double Anzatai El, the apostles of great mules, so on that do a will. And salutations and bless you, I can just push his word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today we want to get into this quick lesson, and I'm going to title it If You Trust in Your Weapons, You Got Another Thing Coming. All right, because, hey, man, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is our power, man. All right. Hey, so. With, with, with that being said, man, hey, you can't do anything on your own, man. All right, we can't even prophesy on our own, man. All right, Yahweh Shai has to give that spirit uh, onto us, man, to, to make us want to do this, man. All right, so, hey, how much more are you taking down Esau, Edom, that a man that Yahweh Shemal Shai set up himself, man? All right, so, hey, we ain't further ado, I'm just jumping to it. This is Jeremiah 17, verse 5. It says, Thus said Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, all right, and make it flesh his arm. And who in whose heart departed from Yahweh? So, hey man, says curse be the man, man. All right, because hey, if you if you're uh, um, trusting inside of your weapons, man, you trusting inside your arms, man. All right, that means that you don't trust in Yahweh Shemal Shai. You trusting inside of a uh, 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 idol, man. You trusting in yourself, man. All right, you ain't trusting in the Lord, man. All right, that that's a, that's the main reason why we uh, inside this predicament right now, man. Because you want to serve other gods, man. You want to serve ourselves. You want to serve uh what, what the fuck we wanted to do, man. All right, but like it tells you in the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, man. All right, Proverbs three and verse five it says, "Trust in trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding." So it says, "Trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man, and not lean unto your own understanding, man. Don't lean unto your uh, 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 unto yourself, man." All right. Oh, okay. Well, I know. I know how to shoot a gun. Oh, I know how to uh, fight. I know how to use a sword. All right. But do you know how to use that better than Esau? Do you know? Do, like, hey, man, the Lord blessed this. Blessed this man with it with this ability, man. All right. Use your blessing, man, which is these scriptures, man. All right. The spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. You know. And it says, um, and all in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. All right. And that's all you gotta do, man. All right, acknowledge Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. Acknowledge that He is your power, man. Acknowledge that He is your everything, man. All right, and hey, you, 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 uh, uh, um, you will be led from uh, death and destruction, man. All right, because Yahweh by Shemal Shai is not a man that He should lie, man. The Lord said that He's gonna redeem His servants, man. All right, and, and preserve them, man. You know. Hey, Lord, the Lord said for His name's sake. You yep. think the Lord is gonna come and honor His own name, man? That's right. And it's the and it's Lord great pleasure to uh have mercy upon His people. You know, hey, hey, man, it's a trust in the Lord, man. You, hey, the best way to win a, a fight, so to speak, man, a battle, is to do something that the other opponent cannot defend, man. Yeah. So you're going to come and fight Esau, Edom to his strength, man? You're going to come up, all right, I'm going to grab the sword, which I'm futile as hell with, man. You right. Gonna, hey, these niggas out here with uh, Glocks, Esau got fucking drones that he don't even have to come, he don't even have to see you. Esau can be in fucking a uh, uh, country away and kill you. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 don't even blink about it, man. These people are uh and they came to uh steal, kill, and destroy. And the Lord put that uh bestowed that power upon them to do so, man. That's why you gotta fight it with the spirit, man. You know, the spirit they can't they can't uh uh mess with it, man. Right. Cause they 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 can't uh they can't obtain the words and understand of Yahweh Shemal Shah like an Israelite can, man. That's right. You know? But this is Genesis chapter 27 and verse, uh, I'm sorry, 38. It says, and Esau said unto his father, hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even, uh, even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. All right, so this is when Isaac was blessing uh, uh, Esau, man. And hey, by the way, uh, uh, um, uh, Esau, I'm saying Isaac is Yahweh Shah, man. All right, so hey, at the end of the day, man, Yahweh Shah set up Esau, man. All right, so you 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 think you think you 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 greater than the Lord, man? All right, you think that you can uh, uh, uh take down what the Lord set up, man? You know, you a fool, man. Hey, Yahweh Shemal Shai set up Esau Edom so that he can bring him down, man. The same way that the Lord did with Pharaoh, man, so that the Lord can get his name back in the earth, man. All right, so hey, you 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 think you finna take away the glory of the Lord? And hey, this is like a, a a man on the battlefield, right? Like, hey, man, don't don't touch him, man. That's my that's my uh, um um kill, man. Don't touch him, man. You know, and hey, if you touch him, you got to deal with that man. You know, because he wanted he wanted that kill, man. And it's the same with the Lord, man. The Lord wants to kill Esau, Edom, man. Because hey, Esau is the wicked man. All right, Yahweh Shai has to get his name in the earth. Sure. So this is uh, Genesis chapter twenty-seven and verse thirty-nine. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, 
and of the dew of heaven from above. All right. So, hey, man, Esau Edom, he has the entire world, man, for one. OK, he has the entire world. All right. And, and his blessing is a sword. And by the, and by thy sword shalt thou live. All right. So, hey, man, you, you, you think you're going to defeat a man that has the complete and utter control over everything, man. All right. Hey, th this man has a control of, of the minds of the masses, man. All right. He has control of uh, 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 how, how much ammunition you can buy. All right. How much can be sold, man. But you think that you're going to uh, uh, outgun this man, man. All right. Or outfight this man currently, man. He is a carnal man. You cannot defeat him, man. Carnally. And it says, and it shall come to pass uh, when thou shalt have, a, ha, have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because, uh, because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. All right. Amen. This man truly hates us, man. All right. That's why it tells you in that Revelation 12. Yeah, he's going to come down with that great wrath, man. That's right. So this is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. All right. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he know it they have but a short time. All right. Esau Edom knows that uh, uh, his blessing is only going to last for so long, man. All right. So he's going to come down with that, uh, that great wrath, man. He's going to give you niggas. Uh, your opportunity to get to get get your guns all together, man. All right, you're gonna revolt against him, man. He's gonna fuck you up, man. All right, he's gonna drop your ass, man. <laughs> like you, like you never thought, like you never seen it coming, man. All right, because you want to trust in your in your weapons, man. Sure. All right, some that this man created, that he that he knows how to take 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 apart, man, with with, with a fucking blindfold, man. Yeah. And you think you're gonna defeat this man? You a damn fool, man. Go buy the buy the sword from him. And try to kill him with it, man. Con, hey, that, that's why that's why the Lord said the weapons that our weapons of our warfare are not yeah, carnal, man. man. All right, because we deal with the spirit, man. All right, Hebrews four and twelve, man. All right, hey, the, the words of Yahweh Shem is sharper than anything, man. All right, hey, hey, here it is that that uh, we, we're bringing down this kingdom through preaching, man. Yeah. Simply through preaching. We we ain't, we ain't picking up weapons. We're not telling anyone to pick up weapons because that's the wrong thing to do. Okay. But hey, we're all we doing is preaching this word, man. Yahweh Shemal Shai is bringing this kingdom down through truth, man. That's right. You know. Yeah, man. It's a, it, it it cuts the the soul, man. Mm-hmm. You can't shoot somebody with a carnal weapon and cut their soul. Hey, man. The word of the Lord is powerful, man. But I got a, a precept. You finish with that. Mm-hmm. Deuteronomy thirty-two. And uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I was thinking that early. Kind of spirit. It's Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. Mm -hmm. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, hey, if the Lord wants this to happen to you, man, you're through. So it's the best thing to do is to try to get on the good graces of the Most High. Getting the good grace of the Lord. Returning to the Lord, man. Because, hey, hey, we right here, that's why we here. Because we don't want any of that smoke we won't we don't want any we don't want the lord to judge us in his sore displeasure man yeah that's right we we don't want that man we want to uh ultimately this is our heritage this is the right thing to do this is how you be an israelite man by uh doing the law that's uh by performing the law that's commandments to the best of your ability that is being an israelite man not uh, being one outwardly man right that's why people are heathen now because they don't hey they don't give a damn about the most high man but the lord say he say, hey, hey, he he wounds, he kills, he make a lot, man. The Lord does everything. That's why Proverbs 18 and 10 says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Right. The righteous run into it and are safe. Right. When you run to the Lord, return to the Lord, you are safe. But when you outside the field, man, you easy game for anybody to uh, <laughs> get you, man. Yeah. When yeah. You, if you're not in the truth, you are going to die. That's right. No matter, it don't matter how you go die. Shit, you might get... You could get stung by a bee and die. It, you're yeah. going to die. Hey, it tells you in that uh, second Ezra, man, don't worry about uh, uh, yeah. the way that the wicked is going to die or the evil, man. You know? Because, hey, man, you're. it doesn't matter how you're going to die. You're going to fucking die, man. Yeah. If you don't serve your Habash Shemal Shai, you're just going to perish, man. Point blank, period. But with this, being, with that being said, let me grab this. See, you read that. This is Proverbs. Let me see. Yep. This Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? 
All right? Hey, man, if, if, if man's going up your house, man, all right? Why not trust in the Lord, man? All right? Because the Lord the Lord can just make it where uh, your gun to jam up, man. All right? The Lord will make it where uh, 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 um, you will be weak as hell that day, man. All right? And then next thing you know, man, your, your ass is getting uh, uh, destroyed, man. All right? You're getting shot up. Whatever, man. Because man's go, man's going up, your Habash Shemal Shah, the Lord controls all, all of man's thoughts, man. You know? So, let me grab this, because, hey, it was it was a, uh, something like this happened inside the Maccabees, man. There's a, a guy wanted to uh, get his name, Aliazar, you know? He wanted to get a name for himself, man. This is what happened to him. This is uh, 1 Maccabees 6 and 20. 1 Maccabees 6 and 43. Aliazar, also named uh, Savaron, preserve, um, perceiving that one of the, be that one of the beasts uh, armed and the royal harnesses was higher than all the rest, and supposing that the king was upon it, put himself in jeopardy to the end he might deliver his people. And hey, man, you, we, we, we cannot deliver uh, um, ourselves, man. All right, only Yahweh, only Yahweh Shai can do that, man. You know, and hey, you no, know, I, I, I finish this. And I get, I get the precept, and it says, and get, and get him a perpetual name. All right, he wanted to get a name, man, and it says, uh, wherefore he ran, he ran unto him uh, courageously through the midst of the battle, slaying on the right hand and on the left, so that they were divided from him on both sides, which done. Salakia, which done, he crept under the, uh, the elephant and thrust him under and slew him. Whereupon the elephant fell down upon him and there he died. All right, because he wanted to get his own name, man. All right, instead of waiting and trusting Yahweh Shem Al Shah, man. All right, he got he he, he got uh, uh put to death, man, because he didn't wait for the Lord, man. And that's what we gotta do, man. We gotta wait for Yahweh Shem Al Shah. Like the scriptures say, wait until uh wait. Wait ye upon me. So, hey, uh, Zebra 93 and 8 say, wait. No, let me grab it. Yeah. I was like, no, it was that, the water. God, God. This is uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out my, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Hey, and it's it's the Lord's determination, man. Do you you think hey, like the Lord told Ezra, you hey, do you love my people more than me? Right. <laughs> like, like these are my people. I see the shit they're going through. I see that the heathen have for the affliction, man. This hey, this pissing me off, man. Right, but we gotta go through it. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, the Lord, dude, the Lord is gonna do this, man. The Lord is going to get us out of this place. The the Most High is going to work the, a miracle, man. Kind. Hey, just like with uh, Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah himself had all the power, man. Yeah. And he said I could have called down uh, 12, uh, 12 legions. legions of angels, man. You know? But, hey, he, he didn't do that because it wasn't the time for that, man. He had to go through his sufferings. Yeah. And the same way we got to go through uh, our sufferings because, hey, the, the uh, scriptures say that the servant is not greater than his master. Right. We gotta go through shit, man. You can't go and put the put things to your own hands, man. All right, hey, you 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 want punishment and shit, and you want to break out, the, you want to uh, crawl out the window, man. All right, it ain't about that, man. It's about suffering your punishment and dealing with it, man. All right, we have to deal with, we gotta deal with this shit, man. All right, hey, hey, like the scripture say, agree with thy adversary, uh, thy adversary quickly, man. All right, we gotta agree with Esau, either, man. We gotta uh, deal with his policies. All right, if you get pulled over, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, whatever, whatever it is, man. All right, don't try to argue back with the police. Pull out your gun and shit. All right, and try to shoot back at the police because you're gonna fucking lose, man. We see it every time. You're going to lose, okay? But let me get this Deuteronomy because at the end of the day, man, we're still in slavery, man. All right, and you cannot deliver yourself. So this is Deuteronomy 28 and verse. Uh, that's spirit. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It says, And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, that thou shalt see it no more again. All right, what's that land, man? This is Babylon the Great. All right, and ultimately the, the entire world uh, uh, through the, through the so-called transatlantic slave trade. All, the, all of uh, the shrabs were spread across the entire four corners of the earth, man. And it says, and there, and, there ye, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. All right, no mean no man shall redeem you, no man shall save you, man. All right, Yahweh Shah said that he is not coming; he uh, uh, he shall not meet thee as a man. 
all right? Because he's coming back in that angelic power, man, all right? That's the only way we're going to be delivered, man, all right? Through angelic spiritual powers, yeah. all right? Not something carnal, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, if this was my kingdom, my servants will fight. All right. But this ain't our kingdom, man, all right? Therefore, we're not going to fight. Yeah. All right. Ezra, uh, it talks about a second Ezra that we don't have an inheritance with this word. This is simple as that. It's just, hey, once Esau, Edom, kingdom is over with. Swoop. I yeah. mean, once, hey, through the spirit of power of Moses, had, the elect shall take the kingdom. Yeah, that's right. You know? And then that's when the rule of righteousness will come, man. The scriptures talk about uh, Second Maccabees, the 15th chapter. It says, victory comes not by arms, but by, um, he. Oh, that's a good one. We got to grab that. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's a good one, Second bro. Second Maccabees 15, like 20, 21. Con. 21. 21. Okay, Con. This Second Maccabees chapter 15 and verse 21 it says, uh, Macca Maccabeus. Yeah, Maccabeus. Maccabeus seeing the coming of the multitude and the, uh, and the diverse uh, preparation of armor and the fierceness of, of the beast. Stretched out his hand towards uh, toward heaven and called upon Yahweh that work it wonders, knowing that the victory coming not by arms, but even as it uh, seemeth good to him, he giveth it to such as are worthy. Damn, the Lord gives the victory to such as are worthy, man. And then what it says in Second Corinthians, man, it says, but thank Second Corinthians fifteen chapter, man, it says, but thanks be to Yahweh, which should give us a victory through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's man. right. So hey, the elect. We'll have the victory, man. It's written already. Yeah. All you gotta do is sit back, hey, play your, hey, hey do the right thing, man, and wait, and wait to see the miracles of the Lord, man. Pray for mercy. Pray that you can endure this, man. It's like, hey, it's already written, man. Esau's going down. He had his rulership. It's over with, man. The Lord is gonna give it to such as he see worthy. And it talks about in the Rock the Tenth chapter how the Lord is gonna give the uh, earth to one that's profitable soon, man. Right. That's in right. Due time, you know. Hey, and the scriptures also say, man, in uh, Isaiah the thirteenth chapter, that Yahweh must uh, um, the host of the, the host of the battle, man. All right, so hey, it's all up to Yahweh by Shemal Shah, who he wants to get that victor, man. All right, it's not it's not up to any man, man. That's all right? right, so let me get this. Uh, yep, let me get this. Matthew chapter one and verse twenty one. Says and she, or I mean, and Mary mm -hmm. shall bring forth a shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right, and hey man, that's the only, that, that's the only man that can do that. Man is Yahushai. He is the only one that can deliver us from this hell, man. All right, the only one that can del deliver us from these curses, man. All right, from our from our sins, man. All right, because hey, if it, if it wasn't for our sins, man, we wouldn't be in this predicament, man. All right, but hey, if we if we never sinned, man, we would never need a salvation. We would never uh need a savior, man. So hey, this this is all playing playing a, a part in your Habashim Al Shai story, man. All right, that's why we said play your role, man. Yeah. Play your role. <laughs> you gotta play your role. Like hey, if you if you don't play your role, man, your Habashim Al Shai is, is going to destroy you, man. All right, he's gonna give you uh, uh, over to Esau Edom, and Esau wants to kill you, man. All right, in the weirdest ways, man. Uh, yeah. You know. So, you got anything else? Nah. All right, Con, we can end on this then. This uh, Psalm chapter 28 and verse 7 says, uh, Yahweh is my strength and my shield. Mm. My heart trusted in him, uh, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiced, and my song will I praise him. All right? The strength, uh, Yahweh is their strength, and he is, a sa and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. So, hey, man, if it wasn't for Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man, you wouldn't even wake up this morning, man. All right? You wouldn't even uh, eat. All right? You wouldn't be doing anything, man. All right? Because, hey, at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim al Shah is our everything, man. So, hey, if you, if you don't trust in Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man, eventually, man, the Lord is going to uh, give you over to death, man. Sure. All right? Because like it tells you in that, in that uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, man, do a sinner do a uh, sin a hundred times, man. Yep. You know, hey, even though you sin a hundred times, man, your Habash Shemal Shah is still going to uh, bring that recompense upon you, man. Yeah, it said, yeah, it said, though they do evil a hundred times, it, it will go well with them that fear the Lord. You know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, man. So at the end of the day, hey, y'all can have y'all fun. Y'all can do what the fuck y'all want to do. We go, hey, we go, hey, pray and hopefully do the righteous thing, man. And, hey, hopefully get the righteous recompense, man, because... <laughs> Y'all just go, y'all have, y'all look forward to ICBMs, man. Yeah. Death and destruction. 
Kind of. We looking forward to getting on chariots, man. Yeah. You know? So, hey, with that, we pray that this lesson was edifying. We would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, and Chakodash, that will unzat ill the apostles of great meals, so that do well, and salutations and bless you, Akim, that's pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball.